And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. My bad, my bad. Had a phone call. But yeah, man, uh, Compton Rick Rock says, not only are the ATK kids not banned from LA, Brick Baby needs to be banned from LA, apparently. So we finna see what he's talking about, man. Let's get into this, Katiana. Let's go. Academics react to Brick Baby banning ATK members from LA. Oh, yeah. And make sure y'all show some love to Compton Rick Rock. Like, comment, subscribe to his page. Make sure you follow what he got going on. Shout out to Compton Rick Rock. You guys seen this video yet? If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. And he have a whole lot that he want to say about our hometown and guys from L.A., especially guys on the Internet that's representing L.A. in the bad way. How can you guys lay down Nipsey Hussle? How can you guys smoke Nipsey Hussle and leave him in the parking lot the way that you guys left him for the world to see? This is the kind of questions I get asked. When my people from out of town call me and I talk to my folks from OT, they say, Rock. To ask that question is extremely ignorant, extremely insensitive. It makes you a complete buffoon to think that to ask me, Compton Rick Rock, Adam 22, Brig Baby, Flacco, whomever you may want to ask whack, whomever, how could you, how could y'all have let this happen? Nigga, was I there? Like, what? Like. It was that based off that same logic, how are you letting a pedophile touch your kids in your neighborhood and community right now? How are you letting that happen? How are you letting that happen? How did you let that happen? Like, what the fuck? Are you? That's so stupid. That's so ignorant. That's so that's that's somebody wanting to have something to say just for the sake of ha having something to say. You're an idiot to ask that question. How is it that you guys let MC Hustle get assassinated, but y'all let all these clowns on the internet? Do what they want to do and get away with what they get away with. If that's the case, you should be the one to go do something to them. If they're, if they're really bothering you like that and you're so outraged, actually, you should go set the example. Especially if you're not in California, not in L.A., you should set the example. You should book a flight. You should get your nice little Airbnb or CNC if you're a Hoover, if you respect the game members, um, or H&H &H if you're a Hoover, or PMP if you're a power, however it works. Um, get you a, a residence to stay in along with the rental car. And then somehow, some way, acquire you a firearm, and then you go take out these podcasters, influencers, uh, social media personas that you have an issue with that you feel like are poorly represented in Los Angeles. You, you go show us how it's done, big dog. We would love to see you put in that work and show us how how it needs to be taken care of. In LA, we don't understand, and you got to break it down to them. So when I see videos like this with Brick Baby on here popping it. Making us look like clowns like he always do. This is why they ask these questions and think how they think. Rest in peace to Nipsey. Much love to his family and respect. But I had to use that to get you guys to understand where I'm coming from with this video and what people outside of L.A. think of us. Academics, you think this is a joke, huh? You ain't seen what happened? To all the other people that ain't came out here enjoying this California sunshine, this California weather, and the mistakes that other people made is the reason why a lot of them not here no more. And some of them just got caught up, wrong place, wrong time, by the wrong people with the right criminal mentality. And this is where you messing up at, homie, because you talking like L.A. ain't that, L.A. ain't this. You would get your ass handed out here. Matter of fact, the ATK members that been banned by Break Baby, they need to be saying academics need to be banned along with a lot of people that's from this town need to get banned from this. Well, here's the thing about academics. You could ban them from anywhere. You don't go outside no way. So banning academics is like telling the snow, telling the snowball, you, you, you can't go on the sun. Well, a snowball will probably never be on the sun because the snowball will melt while on the sun. So, you know, a snowball will never probably be on the sun. So, you know, that's, you know, to ban academics is kind of like pointless because, again, it's like, he doesn't go outside. Town also. Well, let's get into some of this stuff that academics is talking about. Let's go. I'm going to be honest. Be honest. I know LA is not acting like 
Nigga, Chirac is Chirac. Talk, nigga. And I still, I still got, oh, I still got Jacksonville, Chirac, Philadelphia, and of course Memphis over LA. You tripping? You tripping? This what he tripping at? Or maybe I'm just fooled by the clubhouse because all of the, all of the tough gangsters I used to see in LA, all they do is content. <laughs> You said, not gonna lie, LA will probably fold Jacksonville. The only LA people I see is the people who are like on podcasts every day. I don't know. I'm like, what are they banging? Nigga, I used to think about, nigga, nigga, I used to think of LA like this. Like, niggas is walking around like, what up, cut? What up, bro? What up, this? I thought niggas would be on the corner. So, the only thing difference between academics and Flacco is number one, academics doesn't pretend like he doesn't make this type of content where he, content. You know what? I'm lying. Academics does pretend like he doesn't make the type of content where he doesn't uh, highlight, instigate, or try to add fuels to the flames of gang and gang activities and all that kind of stuff. This is actually instigating an ongoing situation between two different factions and all that kind of stuff. So to say that you actually don't, well, I don't approve of street ninja activity and all that kind of stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yet, on the other hand, you're ranking most dangerous cities and applauding the cities that is that are the most dangerous as if that's something that they should be proud of and brag about. It's a direct contradiction. Like set tripping. Then I realized, I'm like, no, they're not just plugging the mics and talking. That's all they're doing. That's what you're wrong at. That's extremely, extremely, extremely incorrect. And where it's dangerous at is because somebody will hear that verbiage and that dialogue coming out of academic, that rhetoric, if you will, and they will walk into the Los Angeles area and think that that is what the temperature and the time is, and you will lose your life, big dog. You will lose your life, big dog. Clubhouse, you Instagram, YouTube, all that is not a direct representation of what is going on in the dangerous streets of any section of the people that uh, come from these areas. So I would not recommend that you take my content or anyone else's content and think like, hey, it's like this because Rich Trapper said it or because Academic said it or anything like that. You can lose a lot of things today and your life can be the number one thing. So I would advise everybody to kind of just chill and fall off of that. You feel me? Guys that you see on the internet are content creators. Them not the guys that you don't see that's not on the internet. Them the ones you got to worry about that don't care about views, that don't care about clicks, that ain't getting paid no monetization for being on here that's in the hood. Oh, you got to worry about that don't care about views, that don't care about clicks, that ain't getting paid no monetization for being on here. That's monetization was the word you were looking for. Don't worry about the comment Rick Rocket cooking right now. You're on the road. Wars are hard. Don't worry about it. In the hood all day, and they only job is to wake up and cause havoc. You talking to them people when you get to talking like this. Now, as far as the guys that you see on the internet, Rick Baby, one of them in particular is the reason why this video is being made is the ones that you talking about. And it's a whole crew of them, it's a whole list. And this is why I get asked, why you guys let Nipsey Hussle go out like that, but you guys allow these suckers and so they call them on the internet to get away what they get away with. Now, Rick Baby was on No Jumper, and he was talking about the ATK members, how they lost six members because of the Julio Fulio incident. Rick Baby, you don't know what happened out there. What you're doing is you're making it hard for people that's probably already out there in Florida Duval County, you're making it hard for them that might be out there. They say, you know what? Since your people say we can't come out here, we're going to lay them down to send a message and say your people can't come out here. Brick, you don't got enough power. You ain't did enough. Mm. And from the looks of it, you don't know what's going on. That could be an unfortunate truth when it comes to the aspect of the power. Because, again, like, I'm not sure who's going to follow into this um, potential whoop of a whoop bam of a crash. You know what I mean? Like, nobody really, nobody wants to actively, you know, fall into a situation that can cause them any type of uh, discomfort or any type of harm or anything like that. So, it's, it's really interesting to see uh, where this can, you know, in fact, actually go. In Florida with them boys. For you to get online and say six of them was dropped, you wrong. Now, what you should have did was talked about what's already on the internet that everybody's seen and just repeated what the news and already said. Because it's already out there. 
But what you doing is talking about six people didn't got smoke, which you don't know. And if you do got intel, y'all need to be quiet on whoever told him this, because if he was sitting in the substation, he'd really get to talking. Because he talking about what he don't know. You don't even talk about that. You the reason why they disrespecting you. They disrespecting your kill squad, which your kill squad don't got, because Whack 100 and already said, fuck your hood and all that, and you go right back to work where he at. Now, if this would have been somebody that academics don't see. Comment that Rick Rock doesn't like Brick, baby. If you guys don't get anything from this video, get comment that Rick Rock doesn't really care for the Brickington of the baby tin. Uh, yeah, Brickington, baby. Come to Rick Rock, not feeling you, big dog. You might want to make a phone call, make his hotline blink. Y'all might be able to patch that together like a hole in drywall, or maybe not. Um, but he don't he don't like you. I don't think that Come to Rick Rock is really let me know what y'all think in the comments. I don't think that Come to Rick Rock is too fond of uh the brick. Ouch. On the internet. And the, the Wack would have said that to them. And I know Wack. It would have been a whole different story. That whole no jumper building would have been lit up. Them little securities they got up in there, they would the whole building would have got it. They would have waited, flew drones over the thing. Whatever they had to do, they would have got their man. The same way that we seen the video. Because Wack 100 and already said, fuck your hood and all that. And you go right back to work where he at. Now, this would have been somebody that academics don't see on the internet. And the, the, the Wack would have said that to them, and I know Wack. It would have been a whole different story. That whole no jumper building would have been lit up. Them little securities they got up in there, they would. The whole building would have got it. They would have waited, flew drones over the thing. Whatever they had to do, they would have got their man. The same way that we seen the video of the guys that you talking about. We all seen that video. Them was professional hitters. Whoever hit that boy, and rest in peace to him. Them was professionals. The way they sit in that parking lot, waited, one dude at the top, one dude at the bottom, another guy, and they made show. Sure that's the kill squad. You don't have a kill squad. We don't know what these dudes from ATK done. Only thing we know is what's on the internet. Them guys ain't playing out there. They don't shoot into an open crowd and hope to hit somebody. They don't hit innocent kids, innocent women, and innocent children. We ain't heard about that. We heard about nothing but they men going down. That's a kill squad. The people that you're... That is a kill squad. It's been a really rough, really, really rough week for break on the internet. We're going to hope that next week is better, but... God, at the buzzer, comes to Rick Rock comes in with a knockout. Golly, man. Golly, it's Thursday night. I thought we were going to make it to Friday. Typically, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is kind of quiet on the internet. Uh, come to Rick Rock. <laughs> buzzer beater, man. There's no kill squad. Everybody that's seen you on the internet getting held up by your shirt. I made a video where I said, oh, boy, save your life because your potty would have whipped out like you said you had, and clear something out, and you would have been done, so he stopped you. However it twisted and turned after that, that's y'all content creator world. But you got saved that day. But the bad part about it is, ain't nobody looking at it how I'm looking at it, you got saved. They looking at you got choked up against the wall, and your kill squad ain't do nothing. And they look at all the other rants and raids that you do online, and you ain't did nothing. Your kill squad ain't did nothing. You ain't doing nothing but talking that's why fat mouth academics get online and say what he say because they take it as a joke now how did y'all lay down nipsey hustle in that parking lot but not laying down the guys that's on the internet out here again these are the phone calls that i get from my peoples out of town and i say man i don't know nothing about that man i i ain't got nothing to do with that man Everybody, everybody seen the tape. What happened? It's just a, it was just this bad situation, man. You know how that happened to PNB Rock. How y'all had hard to do that, but y'all ain't did nothing to the people that y'all on the internet beefing with every day, all day. To answer y'all questions, the guys that you see on the internet, they not about to bust a move, including. Me, I'm on the internet as well. I ain't finna do nothing to nobody. I ain't got time to be sitting up in no penitentiary. I ain't got time for all that. But I will say is, it's people out there that will come and get you. 
Now, I didn't been in jail for 187. I'm not proud to say that. I didn't been in jail for that already. That ain't no that ain't no place I wouldn't wish on nobody. I'd rather be resting in peace than be sitting up in the jailhouse. So I ain't fit to go do nothing to get myself up in there. And if I do got to go that route, everybody going down because I'm fit to pull that thing out and I'm fit to light up everything. We going to all go down. I'm popping. I'm popping. Come to Rick Rock said, I ain't going by myself, big dog. We all going down this thingy thing. Way up out of it, and it's going to be the end of the story. Yo, Kill Squad, you ain't like that, Rick, baby. You don't got that kind of heart. And for the people out of town, listen to me. Rick, baby, don't have the power to stop any of y'all in Florida, Lil Duval County, not Lil Duval County, but Duval County. He don't got no pool to stop nobody from Tampa and all the rest of the places from coming out here. If y'all was to come to Compton, he can't make a call to Compton and say, get them up out of here. We've been and kicked him in his ass. Yeah, that peace talk, that Martin Luther King talk, I'm on. Y'all go check the old videos out today. We keeping it gangster and we keeping it 100 today. He can't make a call to Inglewood and tell y'all to get... Well, that seems like that's kind of all the wind out of Brick Baby Sales with that one. Eesh. Gosh, come to Rick Rock, kind of eliminated that whole thing. Dung and Ace and his crew up out of there. He can't make a call to San Bernardino, Riverside, Hawthorne, California, Carson, California, Watts, California, Long Beach, California. He can't make no phone calls and have nobody took out of here. You can't make that kind of call because he ain't got that kind of juice. You not feeding the community. You not feeding the little young thugs in your hood. You not feeding the hitters. You not feeding your kill squad, so you say. Only when people get fed, they, they stand up for you like that. When you grease in their pockets, when you taking care of their family, when the homies in the pen, you sending packages and money up in there. If you ain't doing, ain't nobody taking you serious, sucker. You just talking. You making it bad for real ones out here that want to go and chill in Miami because of you. You know what I'm saying? And 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 them dudes ain't said they ain't said fuck that like they ain't said none of that. They own you for you speaking up on them. You speaking up on their hood. They homies. They crew. You speaking up on them, so they got all right to say what they got to say to you. You started this. You can't ban nobody, homie, because they checking you and getting on you for speaking up on their homies. You know you out of pocket for that. You can't even handle your own homies, your own crew that you get into with your own online enemies. I ain't talking about your homies in your hood because your homies in your hood ain't nothing like you. I know some of them, and they really with that action. I didn't got a phone call, and I didn't been told, yeah, bring he really from over here, but, you know, the drugs and all this and that, but so forth and all that. Homie. Do what DJ Academic said. Get your money. Go on home to your family. Academics, take your own advice. Go on home to your family. Because you on here doing the same thing he doing, popping it, and you ain't going to do nothing. Both of y'all ain't going to do nothing. Now, I can't tell you what people behind me would do. I don't promote. I don't want them to do nothing, but they will. But I don't want them to do nothing. I don't have no problems we're getting on this microphone and spitting it how I spit it because basically what Rick Rock is saying, all y'all need to go ahead and go in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the house too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna fall into the all y'all category and I'm gonna just go ahead and after this one I'm gonna go ahead and slide into the house. Y'all want to come into the house? I got PlayStation Five. And I got eighty six inch TV, so we can kick it. Just do regular like gamer stuff. Like don't gotta actually be involved in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow Rick Rock's advice and go inside to my family. Y'all can come. I order a pizza. We get some wings. I got wing money. Cinnamon sticks and shit. Two liter of soda. Don't worry about it. It's on me. You know, like I say, if I gotta handle my business, I'm gonna handle my business. Because I'm trying to go sit up in somebody's jailhouse. No. You know, Brick, you don't got that kind of pull to the people in Florida. Y'all more than welcome to come out here un uh, until y'all disrespect the city. Once y'all disrespect the city, Fuck LA and all that, then you can't come out here. But y'all ain't dead none of that. What y'all got going on in y'all town, that's y'all business. Y'all keeping it gangster. I have y'all keeping it gangster. You know what I'm saying? The lines that been took out there for what y'all doing. Rest in peace to them fallen soldiers. Hopefully y'all get that right. Correct that. Make peace out there. Y'all come together. Y'all get money. But until then, all this other stuff talking about bodies being dropped. 
hey homie, don't look at uh, all of us as we on that mentality. That ain't got nothing to do with it. We know what y'all, we know what's going on out there. We and you know, I said the other day in a video or an earlier video, whenever I made the video earlier today, whenever I made it, um, Brick was like, yeah, man, we got something for y'all. Come over here to California. We got something. I was like wondering, like, was I part of the we? Because I was from LA. Like, like, I don't even live in LA no more. I moved away like two and a half, three years ago. Maybe, for, yeah, about three years ago by now. Um, so, like, I am about, like, the we, because, like, they not like us. But, like, when, like, you say we got to go do something, like, why we got to go do something when you got a problem with them? Like, why do we have to be involved in this? I'm, like I said, Comp the Rick Rock said, y'all go ahead and go in the house. I'm, I'm going to just follow that advice, and I'm going to better. I'm going to go this way to the house. The danger we ain't new to none of this. We know exactly what's going on. Not what happened. But we know the mentality. Because if you think about it, it all came from here anyway. All the gang banging stuff, it started right here. I don't care about what they say. It started over here. The, the, this blood and crypt, this thing started right here. And it, and, it, and it moved on everywhere else. It's the same mentality, man. One thing about us, when we get money, we're going to hate on each other. Oh, that, that's what we do. It's sad, but that's just a mentality that we do. Until we figure out how to do that, ha handle that as a people and come together, we're going to keep on having these issues. But we ain't going to get nowhere with suckers on the internet trying to ban somebody from L.A. You can't, I could ban somebody from coming to the hood. I could ban somebody from coming to the, to the section. But I can't say, oh, you banned from, you, you banned from L.A. I can't say that. Because I'm not feeding the people. But I can say, oh, you bad for coming to the hood. And if I if I had a problem with you and I seen you to the hood, I'm going to smash on over there and get you on the body. I ain't going to tell nobody to get you. I'm going to come over there and get you up out of there. You know what I'm saying? But check it out, Brick. Stop it. You ain't built like that. Compton Rick Rock. Compton Rick Rock TV. ATK members, y'all come on down to Compton, homie. I can hang on out, party, all that. Ain't nobody tripping off y'all, man. Y'all ain't did nothing disrespectful. That nigga, that, that sucker can't stop nothing. I'm gone. Well, Company Rick Rock pretty much just stepped like 100% on Brick Babies, uh, banishing them from the city of Los Angeles. So, yeah, the first thing those guys are going to do is say, man, you ain't got nothing. Company Rick Rock said. Da, 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 da. They're for sure going to go with the Company Rick Rock said. Either way, goes. We. We, we up out here to the next one, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, compartment, which is Chopper Mafia. Notification bell, top it all. Take that for the latest and greatest. What we got going on here at TNN, Trap News Network, some news you can use. Now you can't get a college, big dog. Red dot, sliding to the left. Get some of this good chili out and we give it away. Y'all know it's free. Avenue Angel, until he's free, we gone.